Hey everyone, Keeper here. It's been a while since I've recorded. Life's been getting a bit crazy dealing with uh, getting things ready to go back to school in January. So I, I haven't really got a chance to to focus on on recording right now. But um, the the Mythic Championship number six just ended yesterday. And uh, I thought I'd take a look at some of the decks that were uh, present at the tournament. Uh, today specifically, this uh, Soul Tie Sacrifice deck, I, I heard it had some, or I read more more correctly, that it had a really good win rate against the field yesterday. And I want, I, I've seen it on Arena prior to this weekend. It, it's destroyed me a couple of times. Um, mostly just playing casual, trying to get my dailies done. But uh, I thought I'd uh, give it a try and take it for a spin myself, see if it's as good as uh, as people are, are, are claiming, see if it can uh, can withstand even to a, someone that hasn't really played with it before and is not really sure what he's supposed to be doing with it and see if I can still get, still manage some wins. In, uh, in this case, I'm probably going to go do some uh, best of one ranked and uh, see if I can crawl out some wins while I let me. S I don't want. I want double dip. Uh, basically, it's a Cauldron Familiar, which is oven deck. It's got Trail of Crumbs. This was I. I hadn't seen this one in the prior lists of Cauldron Familiar and uh, Witches Oven, but it looks like it uh, synergizes very well with uh, with that combo, and it all. It's also basically a Soul Tie. Um, Soltai Oko, Thief of Crowns package with the Wicked Wolf. It's got an interesting uh, card in Massacre Girl. It's a really good board sweep, uh, especially against some of the um, Golgari Adventure slash uh, Selesny Adventure, anything like Tokeny, Go Wide. It, it, it seems like it, uh, it'd be really good right now. It's also got um, Ugin. Ugin's just a powerful planeswalker overall. The, the Vraska has been pretty common in Soul Tie uh, lists that I that I've run into. I did switch. No wait, that was that was a different deck. I was gonna say I switched out a, a Wrangle, but this one doesn't play Wrangle. That was in the Golgari Agro deck. Uh, it it only plays the three once upon a time, but I'm guessing that that's enough, and that's the way I'm gonna leave it. I don't think. Yeah, I haven't fixed the sideboard, and since I'm only playing best of one, I'm just gonna leave it like that. This is the list. That was published before the top eight concluded, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it as it is right now. I don't wanna don't wanna deal with that right now, and uh, see how see how it performs. I'm gonna take it into standard ranked, see if it uh, if it's as good as it seems to be in an inexperienced player's hand, I guess. Oh, wow, that might be loud. I hope that isn't as loud once. Uh, Okay, that's interesting. So I have, I'm on the play, a Once Upon a Time, which is of, and yeah, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to shock in one of those lands, I'm guessing. I'm going to cast Once Upon a Time first, see what I can hit off of that, but lead with which is of, and I suppose. Uh, got It's got some removal, it's got lands, and it's got more lands. I'm going to take the Fabled Passage here then. I am going to shock in the Overgrown Tomb. Okay. Okay. This could be some sort of mirror match, maybe. This could be just mono black. Sure. Huh. Murderous Rider isn't exactly what I wanted to see here. I think I will take. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Murderous Rider. The goose isn't really doing much for me now. Oh, Rakdos. Okay. Rakdos sacrifice. Oh, wow, they really hate my oven then. All right. 
I am going to keep these uh, murderous riders for now. There's no point in trying to kill that cat. So I'm just going to put down a 2-3 lifelink and hope for the best. I think the fact that they destroyed my witch's oven is actually very beneficial for them. Alright, alright. Yeah, they've got their combo assembled, so... What can I do to stop this? I have considered <laughs> a hate bears type deck with uh, hush bringers. <laughs> Just to, to try it. Like, Cauldron Familiar is... It, it, it's it's powerful uh, that's not that's not in question but it, it's also pretty slow uh, like it's hard to deal with the cauldron familiar when they have an untapped uh, witches oven because you can't really kill it they can always or you can't really like hit it as effectively as you'd like because they can always just Sacrifice it to the oven. You, you can't to get the to get your um, to get their food going. You can't exile it with like something like Legion's End either, really, because they'll just sacrifice it to the oven too. Makes it pretty pretty bothersome to deal with. I'm gonna play that untapped. I am gonna swing though. See if they'll trade for that uh, Midnight Reaper. Nope, guess not. They're just going to sacrifice this. Yeah. Not entirely unexpected. Prevents my, uh, my life gain. I'm going to save this. Actually, no. See if they... Sh uh, see if they bring it back. Nope. Smart play. Oh, that's not going to stick around. Actually, kill the Chandra first, though. Oh, wow. Murderous Rider uh, Tribal over here. Alright, so I'm going to start by attacking. I do want to get that uh, Priest of the Forgotten Gods off the board. I actually probably should have killed that before they declared blockers. Yeah, that was kind of silly. That was a bad play on my part. Oh, that's definitely game.
Yeah, all they have to do is tap the priests. And that's game. All right. Not really off to a good start here. Let's uh, let's do a couple more games. I guess oh, this isn't a very good hand. Let's see if I can find something better. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, it's the turn two Oko, I guess. Uh, put back one of the Gilded Goose. Oh. Okay. This could be Gruel, in which case they still could have the Harp. Yep, the Harpooner. take that back not what I should have played here shoot oh well I should have played the fabled passage so I could turn three Oko but nothing to be done now all right uh-huh yeah that's unfortunate if I can hit number four, ooh, not with the questing beast, that's going to be difficult. It's just a nice curve out. What do we got here? Turn three Oko, that's about it. I'm gonna mulligan. This on the play can still get turn two Oko. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna ditch. I'm gonna ditch the wicked wolf, I think. That no that that noise that that sleeve makes is pretty disgusting. I love it. Rusty's running around playing with his blanket or or whatever. Now uh, it's snowing quite a bit here today, and they were all wrapped up in their blankets. Now they're just being goofballs. Uh, and my opponent might have connection issue, which I hope not. Leaving me here, just talking to myself. Come on, opponent, I'm too tired for this. I'll fall asleep if you keep this up. Oh, here we go. All right. Let's see if we can recover at least the, 
the two losses that we already gave trying to lose too much rank. No, this doesn't make good video. Ooh. All right, all right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go for the Oko. Go for the food. Next turn I can either Murderous Rider, that Night of the Heaven Legion, or just Cauldron Familiar. And once upon a time. Try to keep the, the Oko alive until he gets banned. If he gets banned, let's be real. I don't know. Okay, so we're looking at uh, probably Mardu Knights here. Okay, so... Actually, gives me a bit of options. I think the play here is going to be to murder Strider, one of them. Uh, create a food. Yeah, I, I'm aware it's my good, my my go. And leave Cauldron Familiar up to Chump Block. Yep, yep, yep. Leaving up the chumps, I guess, is my best option right now. I will chump that inspiring veteran too, if uh, if necessary. I'm guessing by yeah, they have probably got an amber cleave in hand. Which still isn't enough to kill the, the Oko. You are fouler than a fiend. Ooh, alive. I will create the food for the wicked wolf. Sacrifice. Uh, okay. I guess my opponent got tired of the cauldron familiar. It gets it, it gets kind of annoying. Uh, <laughs> I'm guessing. Well, from my experience, it does get annoying to play against cauldron familiar. So. I can I can understand why my opponents would concede. So we're at one and two. Let's see if I can at least break even on this. At the very least, the games have been quick. I'll have to give them that. Uh, it's not a good hand. Yeah, I can't keep that. Okay, that's. That's better, I guess. I can ditch one of these. All right, this is what I should be playing. If this is uh, Team of Reclamation, I've been that's that's what I've been playing in my 
my spare time. That's a fun deck to play. The new version with uh, Escape to the Wilds, I believe it's called, is a really great list. Raven, attack this gargoyle. I guess that's the most productive thing we can do right now. Okay. Grixis. Ouchie. Alright. Not a big deal. We'll hide the blue for now. We will hide the blue for now. Let's drop this. It does put us in a pretty rough position. Because this Wicked Wolf will only be out on turn 4. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So what is this? Grixis with Bone Crusher? It's not Control. What would I call this? Or is it control with just bone crushers? Could be, I guess. I have to try for the wicked wolf. They might have a counter spell here. It seems like they do. Oh, or not. Uh, yep, I will resolve that. What could they be holding then? Not entirely sure. Petty theft. Brazen borrower, I guess. Uh -huh. Don't really see why they held up priority there. I'm not really inclined to cast this massacre girl yet, so I'm just gonna play the watery grave tapped and uh, say go. Looks like my opponent is having mana issues, which is unfortunate. Oh, fiery. Fires of invention. Ouch. All right, well, sorry, opponent, but I am going to smash. Petty theft now? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Sure, that resolves. Uh. Do I want, I'm gonna cast a Gilded Goose so that I can potentially cast Liliana next turn. Fires of Invention, okay. That means they can't counter anything on my turn, which is good. Means I can drop Liliana, depending on what they play here. Okay, Stomp. Could have sacrificed that to the Witches Oven, I guess. Uh, yeah. It's all right. I'm going to cast Liliana off a good top deck. Start spitting out some zombies. I can always sacrifice the zombies to the oven to draw cards and Gain, uh, gain some food. Zombie food. Sounds delicious. Okay, Murderous Rider. That's... Um, do I want to draw the card off that zombie? No. No. Alright. What you gonna get? Oh, a Lord Ego, okay. Uh, I guess they could name something like, I don't 
don't think there's one card specifically that would bother me if they named it. Let's see if I can find. That's cool. So, I'm trying to think what they could name with Unmoored Ego. Oko, Wicked Wolf. What are you going to hit? Oko. All right, sure. You're at nine life. And you name Oko. That's fair. Murderous Rider. Okay. I will Wicked Wolf that on my turn. Probably the best I can do. I'm going to Sack the Familiar. Bring him back. My turn. Okay. Wicked Wolf. I am not going to sacrifice the food for that. the food up in case my opponents cast the sweeper and I need the indestructible I haven't really tried the Grixis fires of invention yet oh wait they yeah the sweeper they would have I guess would be a ritual of soot so that doesn't really hit wicked wolf Chandra does hit Wicked Wolf. Okay. Uh, yes. Submit. And then I will... Cauldron Familiar. Submit. My turn. Make some more room to fight in. Chandra. Uh, Chandra, sorry, uh, Liliana. Okay. Are they going to make me sacrifice two creatures? Yeah, that's fair. Get out of my way. Now I can bring back the familiar. I think I'm just going to have to ignore those for now. And I'm not going to play out the Wicked Wolf either. Yeah, zombie. Emblem. Really no point trying to go after the Cauldron Familiar again, so... That's probably the best play. Oh, Liliana, it's the only play, I guess. Fay of Wishes, yeah, sure. They can go get uh, Casualties of War, I guess, would be one way to answer that oven. Put me in a bind. I do get to sacrifice the familiar first. In response to them picking the, the witch's oven so that they can't pick the food. Uh, I don't know what else they could be getting here. Uh, planar wide celebration. 
Ouchie. That can be a lot. Okay. Not what I expected here. Uh, oh. Yeah, their one mana is short. All right. So I will sacrifice Cauldron Familiar. Bring him back. So, I'm going to go with Massacre Girl here. means that there's a pretty good chance that they drew oh why am I paying a life there that they drew a land the land they need for that plane or celebration plane wide celebration yep there it is so they can gain a bunch of life here uh, return target card from your graveyard to your hand that's good too proliferate is relevant for their planeswalkers Oh, proliferate and gain life. Ouch. Okay. Yep. Is it just me, or is it getting a little warm in here? I have to deal with the Chandra. Try to come back for you. I could. This won't get me anything. This could kill the zombie. But I'm going to cast this for now. How do I win from here? Gotta deal with that Liliana. They gained a bunch of life. The zombies are not irrelevant. This looks like a fun new toy. Fay of Wishes, yeah. If they play that Brazen Borrower, I can sweep the board again with Massacre Girl, I guess. Yeah, I didn't think they'd fall for that. All right, so I can murder. I can sacrifice a murderous rider to get the cauldron familiar back. Yeah, in order to sweep the board with massacre girl. That does mean they're going to draw a bunch of cards.
unfortunately, they're discarding two lands. Not really as good as it could be. Not really sure what I can hit to turn the tide here. S Massacre Girl isn't long for this world. Not even counting the Nickel Bolas. Nickel Bolas probably just seals the deal. It puts an end to this. In for eternal uh, I will exile it first. Oh really? Okay. Good help is easy to find in war. Murder Strider. That will do it. Grix's fire seems pretty pretty strong. I prefer the Jeskai fires. But Gris Grix's fires is not a bad bad fires list being able to main deck the the nickel bolus and the dragon and the, the the lilianas are good even chandras i guess like uh, uh, uh. there really isn't much i can do from this position killing that zombie only makes my opponent draw more cards not really a win-win situation from here. I guess the best, yeah, and then they got Liliana ultimating pretty soon. So that's an issue. I can't race that ultimate. If I could, the, and the, the two Chandra emblems. I can't race that either with just the one cauldron familiar. Hey, Shaga, Shaga, no, no, Nino. Now you guys are always fighting. Let's see what my opponent does here. So they are trying to hit that Liliana ultimate. Oh, now even Nickel Bolts is making zombies. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. That's just game. They're going to double granted now. Oh, they're not going to double grind. So what did they play? Oh, the Lucky Clover, of course. Uh, yeah, I got... Uh, I guess I can sacrifice the Cauldron Familiar. I don't think there's really much left I can... I can hit to try and get back into this game. I mean, I could realistically just food up to try and stop the the emblems, but that Liliana is about to go off. Huh. Okay. Let's see here.
This still, this uh, still isn't enough. Huh. Murderous Rider there. Liliana, I guess. But their nickel bullets still kind of gets me. Still not sure what I can do here. I can get rid of their Liliana, but I still can't get rid of their Nickel Bullis unless I top deck another Murder Strider. Which I guess I could. It could happen. Tamio. Okay. Garrick Cursed Huntsman. Okay. The key is I need to get rid of that uh, the Liliana. Before she before the ultimate. And then in order, I guess Nickel Bullis and uh, the Garrick. Which spit out a bunch of Liliana first. Surprised that still kicking with all those uh, Chandra emblems. But here we are. Five blockers. No cards in hand. Could be worse, I suppose. Uh, no attacks. Pass the turn. Still don't see how I'm winning, but at least I'm trying. Okay. Not unexpected. Uh, sure. Oh, uh, the Liliana, I guess. Okay. To 
blockers. We block, we block, we block, and we block. Not so much for protecting Liliana, but to draw us a bunch of cards. I will sacrifice one of the Cauldron Familiars. Pass the damage. Yeah. We are relentless. You're not scared of dogs. Uh, yeah, they do get trample. That's right. All right. Put up a good fight. I don't think there's very much more I can uh, I can do against that. Not a frame, jeez. Oh, yeah. Fabled Passage, not really what I wanted to see off the top here. So I'm not attacking. I'm, I am going to do this. See if I can uh, if I can hit something interesting up, off the trail of crumbs. Top one, bottom, resolve, pay. Ooh. Will that be enough? Decline. <laughs> that only prolongs the inevitable, I guess, but it's still kind of funny. Um, yep, I will pay. Okay, not what I wanted to see there. Next. My army will envelop this world. All right, that's a lot of proliferate.
was one long drawn out game. I mean, I'm surprised they actually held its own against all those planeswalkers for a little bit, but especially with those Chanda, Chandra triggers going off. Uh, probably not the decks it was kind of designed to beat, but did a pretty good job nonetheless. Uh, would I? It, I like. It's not really my my style, but I, like I like the the, the combo aspect of it it's it's an interesting deck to say the least and it, it maybe if i put a little bit more practice in trying to figure out how to best play it i could actually accomplish something with it but uh it's worth a try it's all it's it's definitely worth a try and it's it's got a lot of potential in it and apparently it did really good over the the weekend at the mythic championship so the field was probably a lot better suited for for this deck than arena is right now i didn't see any Oko decks and this deck kind of gets run over by by anything else mostly but it's a fun deck it's it's not my first choice as far as decks go but it's still a fun deck nonetheless and uh yeah it didn't do as well as i had ex as I had expected, but then again, I'm not really an experienced pilot with this deck, so can't really fault the deck. Probably there was for sure a bunch of misplays, but uh, it was still fun.